Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today I want to show you the newest function that OpenAI recently released and that is web scraping by API. So I added this towards my AI mastery app by CMA, which is available for UChat users, right? And I just want to show you how cool this is because you can now web scrape using OpenAI's service. Instead of needing to host your own web scraper like I did previously, you can now do it directly through OpenAI. And the costs are actually not that big as well. So let's test it out. So if I go inside the flow, it's a really simple flow. And inside you can see that I just have a question note where I'm going to show or ask the user, okay, how can I help? Then the next step will be to activate the OpenAI web search and the OpenAI reply. And that is a new action, as you can see here, create chat completion web, web search enabled. And if we take a look here, there are two models that you can currently use by OpenAI. That is a GPT-40 search preview model and the mini search preview. Okay, so I'm using the mini uh, as it provides a little bit of a faster reply. Results might differ. Did not really test it with the regular 4.0 search model, but I got really, really good results with this one as well. Um, so for the system message, really, really basic as well. As you can see, you are chat, you are to reply to the user in an engaging and conversational manner according to the available data you receive. Tone of voice is friendly and empathic, and then you also need to reply in first person. The prompt will be the user input, which is a lost text input. For this one, I'm not going to set any remember history. I don't have a prior chat history that I want to tap from. I just want to ask some questions based on the search that OpenAI is going to do apparently. And that is also the reason why I'm leaving the chat history empty. Max tokens, I'm going to set to 1000 and then the response format towards text. The app data, I'm just going to map only the AI response. And that basically is the text value that we receive from OpenAI. We can also go and have the complete JSON to see what does OpenAI do in the backend. It's a little bit more technical. And if you want to see it, I can record a separate video on this. But for now, let's just go with some random text replies, right? Let's save this. And then the next step will be to just output the results and if we're going to preview this so let's just preview from the top let's just do it inside of a web pop-up just as easy inside of uchat and i will get this question right so let's say i want to fetch today's news right um what is the news for today and let's say in hungary because that is where i am located so let's take a look. Let's see what we get. It, all, the most basic results will basically return within anywhere between seven to 25 seconds, depending on how far the web search needs to go, right? In order to get a proper response. So here you can see the key developments and then above you can see everything in more detail. So you have this one, and you can have a little bit of explanation. Then you also get the resources. So you can press this and then you will get towards the specific page. Could I also research myself? No clue. Let's say, who is Mark Vendermate? Let's see if OpenAI does find something about me, if I'm important enough. <laughs> so let's take a look and let's see what we get. Okay. So here, uh, Mark Fenomate is a conversational marketing coach and lead educator at UChat. So all correct with extensive experience in the field since 2016. Um, he has dedicated over 5,000 hours, much more now. <laughs> but this is most likely a uh, grad from a few websites. You can see uh, this is grad from this website, which is properly indexed. Uh, I did work at uh, this company. I rather not talk about that, but I did work there uh, and wrote a few articles. And there are also, it's worth noting that there are other individuals with the surname Vendermate, of course. And if you want to know more about those, you can click that. But if you're seeking information about a different person uh, named Mark Vendermate, please provide additional context or I'll be happy to assist further. But the main information is correctly fetched, right? Uh, the way that OpenAI seems to work, it's just doing some kind of Google search and then getting some quick results back and then that will be indexed, 
right? Along with the resource page. Basically a really, really quick Google search with uh, Google results. Uh, Google search itself is also really, really fast and OpenAI seems to work the same way. But let's see if we can also do a specific web page scrape. So if I go towards my, well, let's go towards this page, for example. This is a specific page regarding a restaurant in New York and the drink section, the menu drink section. So let's see if we can scrape this page properly, right? So let's say, uh, how can I help? Uh, go to this page and tell me what drinks they have available. So let's go with that. And let's see if it can come up with this entire list, right? So that will also tell us that it does not only do indexing, but also can scrape specific pages as well, which is also important. So let's take a look. That's a long list. So we do have cocktails and here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cocktails. So let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cocktails. Um, let's go with boozy jellies. One, two, three, four wines. One, two, three, four. That's also correct. I believe, uh, wines, rosé. One, two, three, four. Okay. That's correct. Non-alcoholical non beverages. Was that posted here as well? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it does seem that it is able to fetch specific page data. It did not fetch all the drinks, but I think it just grabbed the available topics and then just, uh, this could also, by the way, depend on the token usage that I set up inside my mini app, come to think of it, because I set it to maximum of 1000, right? So that could mean that not the entire output is given pro properly. So let's go towards this page and let's ask it to index it. Tell me what's on this page, right? So let's say, summarize this page for me. And let's go with that. Let's see how fast it is. So we're about five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, about eleven seconds. That's not bad for a web page search or scraping, summarization even. And it seems to be doing a really, really good job. So it goes through all the different sections on my page. And then we have the about mark section and then also the current discount. So this is a fantastic way to build an AI chatbot that is actively pulling data real time from the internet. You can either do a really quick Google search as you've seen, you can do specific page scrapings and fetch real time data that way. And it is returned in anywhere between eight to 15 seconds at this moment using the mini model. So it could mean that if you use the other GPT-40 research model, that it could take a little bit longer, but it could also uh, lead to better results, right? For now, this is available inside the AI Mastery app by CMA inside the UChat app store. If you are a CMA member, then you get unlimited access towards all of the AI actions inside. So that would basically mean 15 plus AI providers along with more than 150 plus models. And of course, now this newest action inside as well. If you're a non-CMA member, you can still download and install this app for free. And then you will just need to create a wallet account where you can buy some credits to be able to use this as well. If you have any questions, do let me know, but I think this is a really, really cool way to build research chatbots, uh, basically business related chatbots, right? Answering users question regarding the business, just scraping certain business pages and then replying back towards the user that way. For now, have a great day, take care, and I will talk to you really, really soon.